Hey all, Moto here, and I'm back with another controller review. Thanks to Power A for sending me out a couple of these controllers to try out. And today we have the enhanced Xbox One wired controllers. Obviously with all the Xbox and green, um, I turned off my chroma key today so that the controllers are not see-through. Um, I also got a black one as well. You can catch these for $29.99. So first up, here's the black one. Then we have this emerald controller. And what I like about this, you can see as I spin the, the controller around, it has like a metallic finish. And I think it looks really cool. Um, the backside of both, black but right away you'll see something different but first let's talk about some other things with this controller wired controller it does have wires the cool thing just like the nintendo switch controller that i talked about in the previous video it has a detachable cord which is super handy because i don't like to have a bunch of cords running around everywhere and making a mess. So this way, when you're done, you can just disconnect the wire. I honestly just kind of leave it with my Xbox and then I take my controller and I set it down. The design and layout of the enhanced Xbox One wired controller is exactly what you would expect from a controller like this. It feels good in your hands. It feels recognizable from first party controllers. The buttons feel great. The thumbsticks feel actually really good. Um, the triggers, I feel like they could use a little improvement. They feel a little like springy. I'm not exactly sure how to describe that. Um, I'm coming off of playing with my Xbox Elite controller for three years. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. The D-pad is pretty basic. It's pretty responsive. It's, it's accurate. It's not amazing, but it's okay. I don't use a D-pad a ton. So for me, it's not that big of a deal. Wait, 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 let's rewind a second. I'm gonna go back to the wired thing again, one more. I have been playing on a wireless controller pretty much ever since I had the option to. I've been honestly a snob about wired controllers. I wouldn't use them. If somebody said it was wired, I was like, mm, no. Um, my Elite uh, controller has recently taken a turn for the worse. I won't go into the details because I don't want to cry. I've had this thing for three years. Here's the deal with the wired. You don't have to worry about batteries. You don't have to worry about randomly getting disconnected um, and trying to like, resync your controller in the middle of a game. Uh, you do need to take into account though, with a 10 foot cord, will it reach? For me in my space where I use my controllers most, I'm right here. This is where I stream, this is where I record. It works perfect. My Xbox uh, One X is just like two feet away. So it works perfect. Now, if I were to go downstairs and hang out in my bigger living room area, it's not gonna reach. So for that, I'm still gonna have to use like a regular wireless controller. But overall, I have to say, it has not been that big of a deal to use a wired controller. I don't know what my hangup was. I saved the best feature of this controller for last. This controller is only $29.99, right? And with this, if you flip it to the back, You'll see this button and these two buttons. And the thing is, at least for my hands, when I'm gripping, everyone has a different grip, right? But for me, when I grip this, the buttons are perfectly, the buttons are just perfectly placed. I mean, they couldn't have done it better. Did I say perfectly placed? Like perfect. And they're quick and they release quickly. I mean, I can just click these so fast. I can't even explain how ergonomic that is. All right, real quick, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to program 
these enhanced buttons without having to use the Xbox Accessories app. All right, I could talk probably 30 minutes about why and how you might want to assign those enhanced buttons. I'm just gonna show you how simple it is. You press this button, hold it down, you get a blinking light here. You say, I want the B button to be programmed to there. And now every time I press this, I'm pressing the B button without having to take my thumb off my thumbstick. One thing I didn't mention, this does come with the rumble packs. The controller has a decent feel to it. It's still lighter than what I'm used to, but like I said, I've been using my Elite wireless controller for a long time, three years. And so for me, it feels a lot lighter than that, obviously. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. I love this controller. It's $29.99. It feels like everything I'm used to having in an Xbox One controller. It is wired and for some reason I'm able to get over that. Like I said, I used to be a snob. I would only use wireless controllers. And on top of that, I would only use first party controllers. And after giving this a solid playthrough for the last couple weeks, I love this controller. This is more of a quality of life thing though. I wish the backside of the grip had some sort of texture to it. It's just super slick. And I think I've just gotten used to over the years of having something there. Um, I did see one inconsistency on my black controller. The triggers, they feel great. They feel tight, they feel even, and I love it. And I, this is the controller I've been playing on the most. Now on the green controller, I was trying it out. And I noticed that the right trigger doesn't have the same tension as the left. Now, me personally, that would drive me nuts. However, I've been using this controller like crazy and I love it. I'm actually liking this. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm liking this more than my Elite controller. Now, the, the thumbsticks aren't as smooth when they glide. But that's something I forget about after a few minutes and I'm willing to deal with. And for $29.99, I highly recommend this controller. Those enhanced buttons are amazing. If you couldn't tell, I had some pretty positive experiences with the Power A enhanced Xbox One wired controller. And guys, if you like this video, please smash that like button and give me a sub here on YouTube. Also, you can catch me most days streaming live on Mixer. It's mixer.com slash moto. Come by, say hi. I've got a friendly community. I play a variety of games and we have a ton of fun. Thanks and I'll see you next time.